Hi, I'm Brad. I'm John. Onwards with more of the uh, Life in America series from Recollection Road. This time, because you didn't work there, yeah. there's the enemy. There's the enemy. There's the competition. Is the, as I just said, is also the place that we currently buy pizza from. Yeah. Domino's. Yep. 30 minutes or it's free. Yeah. See, everyone always thought Pizza Hut was that, that and they would nope, always tell us. Nope, never done 30 minutes yeah. or it's free. Yeah, like, we've never guaranteed our yeah. delivery time. So, And actually, to be honest, I mean, he might say, but I think the uh, Domino's one also depended on the area as well. No, I think that was like their national thing. Was it their national was, thing? Yeah, I think it was like oh. 30 minutes. Or, For some reason, I thought it was just free. kind of like in cities only. But maybe. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Well, before we get going, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Uh, check the description down below where you can find a link to the video that we're about to watch. I didn't cough. And um, the channel that it came from, which is Recollection Road. English. You will also find links to our social media, the other channels that we have on YouTube. And if you want to help the channel out, there's the Patreon on the wish list and the store where you can get chance related merchandise that may or may not include 80s themed products. Yeah. Gotta love the 80s. T-shirt. Best decade ever. T-shirt. <laughs> Gotta get a plug in. T-shirt. <laughs> Gotta make money somehow. T-shirt. <laughs> That's not a T-shirt. It should be a T-shirt. <laughs> Actually, we could make that as a T-shirt. <laughs> hmm. Gotta make money yeah. somehow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a tough economy out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the whole line of... Um, what was the current favorite? Uh, can't remember. Never mind. <laughs> okay. All right, check out Domino's. I bet no, you recollection he, road. Bet you he m mentions annoyed. He'll he'll mention it. He'll know what that is. Probably not. Like most corporate success stories, Domino's started out small, <laughs> with just one store in 1960. Wow. It started under a different name, by two young brothers. Tom Monahan and his brother James purchased a pizza store called Dominic's in Ypsilanti, Michigan. So you just never know. Within yeah. eight months after purchasing the store, James wanted out. He traded in his half of the business for the Volkswagen Beetle that they used <laughs> to deliver pizzas. Tom became the sole owner and spent the next few years growing the business, opening two more nearby locations by 1965. You could have had uh, a lot of Volkswagen bugs. You yeah, know, you could have more than on. one Beetle if you, yeah. you know, you should have stuck with it. But then yeah. again, if you'd stayed, it might not have worked. No, yeah, that's true. They might have fought. Yeah. And, Who yeah. knows? The original Dominic's owner refused to allow Monahan to use the name at new locations, so he had to change it slightly to Domino's. He created the Domino's logo and each dot represented each of his three locations. Oh. <laughs> he originally planned to place a new dot for each new store. However, this idea quickly faded as expansion took place. Yeah. <clears throat> the original Domino's building was too small for sit-down dining. Instead, they focused on delivering pizzas, catering to the college town that they were in. They have remained a carry-out or delivery pizza store ever since. Technically not 100% true, because our, our local one actually does have some um, dine-in seating. Oh, yeah, I guess it does, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure if they always use it, or if it's uh, just it something... always dark in there. Yeah, it always seems dark, but we always go at night time, so, <laughs> so it might be a lunchtime oh, yeah, thing, really or it might be late. kind of like you can like rent it for parties, who knows, yeah. but they do have a seating area in there. Yeah, which it was is... probably just because of the building. <clears throat> That's true, could have been pretty existing building, down, didn't right? about that. Monahan spent years tweaking his business practices, becoming the best he could be. He came up with ways to shave seconds off the time needed to make each pizza, and streamlined the products with fewer ingredients. He also designed a new corrugated pizza box to keep the pizzas hot and protected during delivery. Monahan invented this new insulated box that would not only keep the pizza warm, but also support the weight of multiple boxes on top. Hmm. This allowed several to be delivered at once, without the box's lid sagging and causing the cheese to be stuck to the top. As a result, 
the modern day pizza delivery service was born. Yeah, so you never know. So the box in is In 1973, the Domino's guaranteed America that they'd have their pizza within 30 minutes of placing the order or they'd get it for free. The biggest innovation that enabled the 30 minute promise was territory. Monahan bought up pizza stores whenever he could, slowly creating a network that meant there would be a store nearby any customer who might call. Domino's Pizza expanded rapidly, and by 1978, it had 200 locations. By 1983, there were over 1,000 locations. Free delivery. Now, how's that anymore? In 1986, the company adopted a mascot called the Noid. The Noid was a bunny-suited anti-hero that appeared in Domino's commercials using antics to try to prevent delivery of hot pizza. The commercials urged people to call Domino's to avoid the Noid and get their pizza in 30 minutes or less. The mascot even became a pop culture hit and appeared on t-shirts, in movies, and was made complete with a crossover computer game. Um, I don't even remember the computer game. But then again, we didn't have Domino's in England. So. No, didn't you? Did you have Pizza Hut? Yes. Yeah. Pizza Hut existed. Remember. But uh, I should say, in my area, we didn't have Domino's in England. That doesn't necessarily mean that there weren't some yeah. somewhere. But um, in my area, there yeah. weren't. Pizza yeah. Hut was the only chain pizza restaurant in our area. Yeah, they used to have Pizza Hut and Domino's used to have the uh, commercial wars. I mean, some of them were pretty good. And then I think I think one of them I think it was, one of them was Pizza Hut or Domino's went well I didn't think so people got offended by one of them I guess that's where it mm. all started everyone got offended by everything so, they're funny I don't remember any of them but <laughs> they're probably on the internet everything's on the internet so I told you it'd be annoying despite the Noid's massive cultural impact. Domino's canceled him in 1989 after a Noid related hostage situation. This incident occurred when a man named Kenneth Lamar Noid took two Domino's employees hostage because he felt the commercials were personally attacking him. Thankfully, no one was injured. In the 1980s and 90s, Domino's guarantee of delivery within 30 minutes led to so many fatal car crashes that their employee death rate was compared to miners and construction workers. After a few lawsuits, the 30-minute guarantee was dropped in 1993. Yes, I knew it. they had stopped it. I said, no way. You, you, you'd think they would have just extended it slightly. Yeah. See, like at Pizza Hut, our, um, our delivery time changed depending on how busy we were. Yeah. And stuff, and... I think that was like um, our motto when I started working on Pizza It's like, well, we care about our drivers' lives and people's lives. We don't want you rushing to it. But yeah, you get so many people if we were like one minute late, they're like, okay, we get afraid. It's like, mm, Pizza Hut doesn't do that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's like, no, we don't. No, no. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's the other chain that you didn't call for your yeah. food. Sorry. Pepperoni is the most popular Domino's pizza topping in the U.S., followed by sausage, bacon, mushrooms, and pineapple. As for the busiest days of the year, New Year's Eve ranks first, followed by Halloween, Super Bowl Sunday, and Thanksgiving Eve. The busiest night I worked at Pizza Hut, that was when I was in Colorado, was... Um, um, I think it was called now. The Golf 4 when the Golf 4 oh. broke out. Mm -hmm. I don't know when that was. That was like a 90 something. Not, yeah, 90 something. Right yeah, right. yeah, early it was, 90s. Yeah, it was, it was like that. Out. It was the night that we attacked. I mean, we just got swamped. And it was like on a night that we're not usually busy. So there wasn't that many yeah. drivers there. <laughs> yeah. And it's like they're like calling in like every driver. And I'm like thinking. Yeah, come on, people. It's like you're all sitting around watching TV. Maybe we want to know what's going on, too. <laughs> it's like... I, I guarantee you recently, probably 9-11 was probably the uh, 
a really busy day as well. Mm. Because well, no, that I, happened in the more. I almost kind of think they probably closed on nine eleven. So many places closed. Because I know the mall closed because yeah. Trisha didn't work that. She went into work and then the they, she came down. back because the mall ended up closing. It. It's like everything like just shut down that day. I was working that day. Um, so. I don't know. If I, I'd think it would actually be a really end up being a real busy evening because nobody would want to cook. Well, yeah. Well, now it's the thing like when yeah. the golf war happened. Yeah, it was like out. everyone was sitting from the TV so they didn't want to cook. Mm-hmm. For the majority of their existence, Domino's only offered pizza. They offered only two sizes, 11 toppings, and one soft drink, Coca-Cola. They believed the simplicity of their menu resulted in higher quality products and more efficient business. And that's how they, some of these places need to be. They yeah. start making it too big. The traditional outlook of Domino's was changed in 1989 <clears throat> when the deep pan pizza was introduced. To keep up with public demand, Domino's had to start expanding their menu. The evolving menu made it even more popular that year, and Domino's Pizza opened its 5,000th store. Shortly after, Domino's released breadsticks, thin crust pizza, flavored crusts, buffalo wings, and finally they tapped into the dessert market. Tom Monahan was truly a self-made man. He created a pizza empire from just one store to thousands. From the age of four, he was raised in a Catholic orphanage with his brother, but he grew into a legendary businessman. In 1983, Monahan bought the Detroit Tigers. The next year, they won the World Series. In 1986, Monahan wrote an autobiography entitled Pizza Tiger, detailing how he went from one store to thousands. In the early 1990s, Monahan experienced a religious reawakening, sparked by some passages in a book, C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity. This book changed his life, and he decided to make big changes. Among these changes were returning to his Catholic faith and selling the Detroit Tigers, along with many of his other expensive possessions. In 1998, he parted ways with his ultimate possession, selling his ownership of Domino's to Bain Capital for $1 billion. In the 90s. Monaghan then went on to found a Roman Catholic university in 1998 called Ave Maria. It was originally located in Michigan, but in 2007, he moved the university to Southwest Florida. There are few things so universally beloved in America like a hot and cheesy delivered pizza. Domino's had a huge part in establishing the way the pizza delivery business is done. What are some of your fond memories of ordering from Domino's? Maybe it involves watching commercials of the Noid during the 1980s. Get on Noid. See, I called that. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, I, when I worked at Pizza in Colorado, I had one of the ladies I worked with, her daughter worked at Domino's. <laughs> she worked at Pizza. We used to have them. Um, sure like, because I'm in mean, our city, wasn't that big, especially on our side of town. We used to see each other on this, you know, Pizza and Domino's, and they'd always like blow your horn out at each other and stuff. We had fun in Colorado doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just good fun. I mean, it wasn't like we did yeah. anything. I was trying to think. Yeah, I think you didn't mention in the video was they actually have sub sandwiches now on the menu. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. Which I, which we keep saying occasionally. We notice it on the menu, and we keep saying we're going to try them. We never try. But, yeah. um, uh, but when you order Domino's, we're ordering because we want pizza. Yeah. Let's see. That's because he sold it. So now they've gone and changed yeah, everything. True. Yeah. Well, they also do the um, the reward point thing as well. Oh. But if you buy enough pizzas, you get a free pizza. Oh, no. Free two topping pizza. That's the only reason we buy, so we get a free one. <sighs> yes, you get free ones. <laughs> so. They also have good coupons as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you, yeah, you have the apps now and stuff, so it yeah. has all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's like <clears throat> which is easier than you know the old way of you know having to 
get the paper coupon, collect the coupon, yeah. go down and buy. And, uh, uh, I remember that too. We used to like, you have to do that. A pizza would be buying yep. coupon. You had to, like, <sighs> we had to collect the coupon and we had to staple yep. it to the ticket that we, because we were given a ticket and then you, mm-hmm. I think you gave part of the ticket to the, as their yeah, receipt or part something of it was like their that. Receipt. And then you had to collect the coupon and no. Uh, yeah. I'm sure that was way fun. Oh, yeah. So, well, that was entertaining. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, yeah, found out a lot more about Domino's than I thought. So, yeah. And, yeah, you, you, and you found out where those mm-hmm. wonderful cardboard boxes that you used to have to fold came from. Yep. And hey, you um, you just never know what. Except you were doing them a Pizza Hut instead of the actual place that they belong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you didn't never know what your idea is going to mm-hmm. bring. So, well, we're definitely going to hit up more of these mm-hmm. food places. So, if you want to. See any of those, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Uh, you can leave comments and suggestions down below and hit the notification bell because that way you know when we do the suggestions. <laughs> and until next time, thanks for watching.